pro wrestling legend Sid Vicious dead at 63. Vicious, whose real name was Sid Udy, battled cancer, his son says. Sid Udy, the pro wrestling legend who was known as Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, and Psycho Sid, has died after a battle with cancer, his son announced on social media. He was 63. Gunnar Udy, Sid's son, made the post on Facebook about his father. I am deeply saddened to share that my father, Sid Udy, has passed away after battling cancer for several years, Gunnar wrote. He was a man of strength, kindness, and love, and his presence will be greatly missed. We appreciate your thoughts and prayers as we grieve this loss. Details for a memorial service will be shared soon. Thank you for your support. WWA also confirmed Udy's death on X. WWE is saddened to learn that Sid Udy has passed away, the company wrote. WWE extends its condolences to Udy's family, friends, and fans. The Arkansas native started his pro wrestling career in 1987 at Continental Championship Wrestling as Lord Humongos. The six foot nine behemoth won the National Wrestling Alliance, NW, a Southeastern Heavyweight Championship later that year, and joined forces with Shane Douglas to eventually capture the NW, a Southeastern Tag Team Championship. After his time in NWA and his first stint in World Championship Wrestling, double, you see W, he debuted W with WE in 1991 then known as the World Wrestling Federation. He started his time there as Sid Justice and quickly became a force, challenging Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania V, III and feuding with the Ultimate Warrior. He returned to WCW in 1993 as Sid Vicious. He debuted to go up against Van Hammer and later teamed with Vader and feuded with Sting. His team lost to Sting's team in a War Games match at Fall Brawl and later lost to Sting at Halloween Havoc. Udy wrestled in the United States Wrestling Association from 1994 to 1996 and later made his return to WWF and won the WUWF Championship against Shawn Michaels. He later won it for a second time against Bret Hart before dropping it at WrestleMania 13 to The Undertaker. He was released in 1997 to recover from neck surgery, and he made brief appearances in the Indies, Mexico, and Extreme Championship Wrestling, ECW. Udy returned to WCW in 1999 and eventually won the WCW World Heavyweight Championship, defeating Kevin Nash. But his time in WCW, you would end before WWF bought the company. Udy suffered a near-career-ending injury after he tried to hit a boot on Scott Steiner from the second turnbuckle. He nearly retired from wrestling for good and was told by a doctor he would never wrestle again. He made sporadic appearances across several promotions until 2017. The pro wrestling world sent their condolences to Udy's family on social media. 